हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गुरु मंत्र शिक्षा का ग्रंथ आई एम योर एजुकेटर निधि दुआ एंड आई टीच यू केमिस्ट्री एट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म सो बेसिकली दिस लेक्चर इज बेस्ड ऑन अ प्रैक्टिस सेशन दैट विल बी कवर्ड योर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स बिगिन आर प्रैक्टिस सेशन सो फर्स्ट बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू some rules of this practice session this practice session will be of 20 marks each question has two marks there will be a negative marking of 25% means of minus 1 by 4th marks before starting this practice session keep your pen and notebook ready you will be allotted 1 minute to answer each question be honest with yourself while solving the questions mention your total scores in the comment box after completing the test all the very best guys so let's get started our practice session so basically this is our question 1 and your time starts now last 30 seconds left time up guys guys so basically you have been asked about the time you have given distance and frequency so basically as you know the formula of time is equals to distance upon speed and you know it very well speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so basically what you have to do is time is equals to distance upon time and the correct answer will be your c option number c is the correct answer that is 2.66 into 10 to the power 2 and here as you can see when you divide the distance with velocity you will get this answer next question is this and your time starts now Last thirty seconds left. Okay, time up. So you have been asked about the energy of photon and wavelength four thousand angstrom as given. So basically, first of all, you know that E is equals to H C by lambda, and you have to convert this angstrom wavelength into meter. When you put this formula E is equals to H C by lambda, and when you put all the values and convert this lambda into meter, you will get the answer as B. That is four point nine seven into ten to the power minus nineteen joule. Next question is this, and your time starts now.
time up guys so guys basically you have to choose the correct statement regarding electromagnetic waves so option number a says these waves has electric and magnetic fields which travel at the right angle to these waves these fields so this is the correct option option number b is electromagnetic waves has a speed equal to the half of speed of light no this is wrong electromagnetic wave has a speed equals to the speed of light option number c is these waves necessarily requires a medium to travel no this is also wrong these waves can even travel in vacuum condition option option number d says all of the above statements are correct so basically this is also wrong b c and d statements are wrong option number a is correct so the answer would be option number a okay so next question is this please solve it quickly your time starts now Last 30 seconds left. Okay, time up. So basically you have been asked about Bose theory is not applicable up to as you know Bose theory is only applicable up to mono electronic species. So the correct answer would be A helium which consists of two electrons. Next question is question number five. Please solve it quickly and note your op note your option in your notebook. Your time starts now. Time up guys. So basically you have to calculate the energy of Li plus 2 atom. And you know it very well E is equals to minus 13.6 into Z square by N square. Here Z, Z is equals to atomic number of that element and N you know it very well. You have given second excited state which means the value of N would be 3 and the value of Z is also 3. When you put this equation and when you put the values of these, this equation, you will get the answer as minus 13.6 electrovolt per atom. That is your option number A. Next question is question number 6 and your time starts now.
time up guys so basically you have to tell the correct relationship between different energies so as you can see option number a b and c all are correct all are the correct relationship between different energies so the answer would be d and the answer is d next question is question number seven you have to calculate the least de broglie wavelength and your time starts now up guys so basically you have to calculate the mass of all of these because as you know lambda is equal to h upon mv and h and v are the constant and lambda depends on the mass wavelength is inversely proportional to the mass the element which has greater mass its wavelength should be least Therefore, when you calculate the mass of these elements, you will get that SO2 has greater mass. That's why wavelength of SO2 should be lesser or least. So the correct option is option number D. Next question is question number 8 and your time starts now. Last 30 seconds left. Guys, you have given the mass of ball, the velocity and you have to find the de Broglie wavelength associated with it. So basically as you know lambda is equals to h upon mv. When you put all the values of this equation, you will get the answer as 0 0.04 into 10 to the power minus 31 centimeter. Question number 9 is this, you have to tell the energy of these orbitals. And your time starts now. Time up guys. Guys this is the very important and I think this is the very easy questions. So the answer of this question energy of atomic orbital in a particular shell is in the order of option number A. As subshell has the least energy. So the correct option is option number A. And the answer is A. Our last question is question number 10 and your time starts now.
okay time up guys so basically you have to tell that which of the following is correct for 4d electrons you have to tell the set of quantum numbers in which the value of n l and s are given so basically for 4d electrons the value of n the value of principal quantum number should be this numerical value that is your 4 all the options are as n equals to 4 and for d electron as you know for d subshell the value of l should be 2 so and the option number c and d has the value of l is equals to 3 so basically option number c and d are wrong and for d electron for 4d electron you know it very well for any subshell the value of s should be plus half or minus half it cannot be zero in option number b the value of s is equals to zero so the option number b is also wrong the correct option is option number a so question number 10 has the correct answer as option number a and the correct answer is option a i hope now you guys are cleared about the structure of atom we have discussed tense question in this practice session now in case you are new here you are new at our platform guru mantra siksha ka granth please do like share and subscribe you can also join our telegram channel for more new updates regarding to your exam for notes for pdf etc you can also join us on facebook and for further queries you can mail us or contact us on the given number and given email id thank you very much guys